guys welcome back to the channel so in the last episode we had locked up um antonovsky i think that's how you pronounce his name antonovsky um we went to jail to visit him thinking that he could give us some more information on ocp and their corruption he ended up setting up a master plan and escaping from prison so now we have to regroup with the local police officers and try and capture him so we're going to get into it but before we do that before we do that if you haven't already make sure you subscribe like and get notified you done it all right let's go dr blanche thank you for returning my call i i don't know what to do who to trust what seems to be the problem my research that i was conducting on you it's gone all the data that I collected is missing from the precinct. If someone felt comfortable stealing my computer, they may come after me once they realize that most of my records are on paper. OCP has been adamant about me keeping all the records on my computer, but I don't trust technology and I don't trust OCP. Uh -huh. I keep most of my records with me in my notebook. I don't know who to turn to, except you. Mm. Where are you now? Home. You are not safe there. Meet me at the Star Motel. Yes, I know the place. I'll meet you there. Thank you. Damn, OCP or some motherfuckers, yo. Okay, report your findings. I saw a person in here. I'm not. Interview invitation. Even if I know what happened. Sir, can you please calm down? So, fishy situation. Let's see what this is. I won't be treated like this. Murphy, you busy? Oh, we've got time. Let's go. Let's do it. Let's do it quickly. This guy's really a handful. Do you mind taking over? Hey, don't talk about me like I'm some kind of problem. The real problem is that one of you ignored my call for help. Sir, none of our dispatchers would do such a thing as receive a call and not act upon it. So maybe the next thing you're gonna tell me is that I wrecked my own fish shop. Plenty of people attempt insurance fraud. How dare you? My family has been serving that neighborhood for generations. You should know that I have many offers to buy out of the shop. But I would never sell out to OCP, unlike you lot. I need to speak eye to eye with the man who ignored my call this afternoon. Just a moment, sir. Murphy, I think it's your new buddy who's been on dispatch duty today. Could you check this matter with him? So is that young boy? You've got to speak to young boy. Where is he at? Something's going down in the locker room. Let's check it out. Oh, fucking hell, there's always something going on. Where is he? Fishy situation. I swear I just have to go through there now. I could have sworn I had to go through there, but. I guess not. It was you sitting on your ass in dispatch when my cousin called the police. He got shot because no officer showed up. It appears there's a technical problem. I reported it to OCP. You see? He said it himself. That little snitch reports everything to OCP to undermine our efforts. Hmm. That's not right. I answer all... Yes, it's not right, and you'll answer for that. Put him up. <laughs> I ain't gonna fight you. We're police officers. No, you got that all wrong. You never were and never will be part of this team, because you're not a real cop. You may fool some of us, but I can smell a rat a mile away. That's enough. Attacking a fellow officer is a violation of the law. I will not allow it. Of course you won't. You're both OCP's puppets covering for each other. This is bullshit! Come on, Steph. Let's just go. Whatever, man. That young boy's gonna get his ass kicked. Your stress level appears to be I'm high. Working. I recommend using a health pack. I'm guessing you're not here just to check my vitals. Can I help? There has been a complaint about police ignoring calls. You mean other than this one? I had a feeling something was wrong with the switchboard. Can you meet me in the dispatch room? I want to show you what I mean. I think the problem started when OCP brought new equipment in. I mentioned to the technicians that I thought something was wrong with this switchboard, but they said not to fuss as this stuff is top of the line. Maybe you could have a look at it? Okay, let's have a look and see what's wrong. 
I was going to say it's outdated, but this is the 1980s, so this is pretty advanced for that time. So a few things to, we've got a few things to scan here. Fucking hell, what, what else are we scanning? Found something? This cable looks out of place. I will see where it leads. Track it, but so I don't know what address is. any luck finding what's wrong with it? The switchboard has been tampered with. Calls are being patched through to a concealed answering machine. That's seriously messed up. But it's definitely not all the calls. I've been receiving a pretty decent share of them. But have a look at this. I marked the map with all the calls I've answered this week. One entire district is <coughs> completely empty. Yeah, and it's that rundown neighborhood. We need to find out what's going on over there. An opportunity presented itself. There is a victim from there awaiting an apology. Okay, let me take care of that. I'll tell you what I find once I'm done. Okay, is that done? I can't undo the injustice you suffered, but I want to make it right. I'd like to start by visiting your store. Maybe I could take your statement there so I don't keep you here any longer. Finally, someone who's hearing me out. I want to see you by the end of the day. Otherwise, this manor goes straight to Mayor Kuzak. Once I finish my dispatch duty, I'll come right over. Good. Good. I can take my leave now. It's the perfect opportunity to check out the area and learn what the locals know, don't you think? I agree. If you're not busy with your other duties, maybe you could join me there? Murphy, you're here. Let's start with what you found out at that prison. I will show you somewhere private. I think I've got the place. Damn. If you guys ever use that, just punch somebody. The new OCP project is what will make this possible for you. But I wouldn't want to leave you empty handed. So let me at least give you this. The project's called Afterlife. Afterlife. So someone in OCP is working with Wendell on another big project? If not Becker, then who? Sorry to disappoint you all, you ungrateful fucks. You didn't think I'd find you here, did you? Since I'm already here, entertain me. If I'm no longer your suspect, then who is? I mean, we're all thinking no, it, so I might as well say it. What if it's the old man? Ha! <laughs> You've got some balls to even mention something like that. Nevertheless, good luck. Even if it's true, he's untouchable. Unlike you, I've got some work to do. Final preparations before the expo. So wish me luck. Good luck. <sighs> Becker's right. We can't just go on accusing people without proof. What else is there? Seems that Wendell found himself another gang to work for him. What do we know about them? Guns for hire. He's paying a lot for their services. They're supposed to be very computer savvy, real high tech shit. Dr. Blanche mentioned her computer was hacked. Then I think we found ourselves a new lead. Murphy, I want you to pursue this. I will pay Dr. Blanche a visit. All right, everyone dismissed. Justice served. Can't wait home. to go back out there, partner. You're not going anywhere. But, Sarge! I need you here. That's the end of the discussion. Yeah, for real, you just literally came out of hospital. I think you need to, um... Murphy, relax. Mayor Kusak wants to talk to you. He's waiting in Reed's office. Oh my god, bloody hell, man. Who's this, uh... Let's do this fishy situation, if we can leave quickly. Just to support this little noob, the rookie. Okay, we here. Murphy, good to see you. Multiple armed suspects have taken over the store. We gotta be careful. They got the owner inside. 
I am going in. You need backup. Uh, you are going with me, assistant. I will need your assistance. Yeah, he's gonna come with me. Remember your field training, Officer Washington. I won't let you down. You guys go ahead. I'll secure the perimeter. Washington needs to become a man, you know, so we're going to bring him with us. Oh, it's the maze poster. Maybe he actually knows him. Let's get him. Oh, God. Just a little bit. Oh, he sounds gone. They stand no chance against you. Go get blown up. Oh shit! I think he's gonna die. I guess he can't die. That's good. Put this one on. Anyone can smell the difference. Intervene the Open do. the door and come out with your hands up. Oh shit, that's Robocop. Listen, you and your friends got it all wrong. You're not supposed to be here, pal. OCP doesn't button to this hood's business. And you're police on OCP's money. So you better scram if you don't want trouble. I don't take orders from criminals. What if I want trouble? Uh, just do that. What if I want trouble? Perhaps I want trouble. <laughs> you don't know who you're messing with, you stupid toaster. I I've got a hostage here, and I'll blow his fucking brains out if you try anything stupid. Break the door. He's reloading. Who's that? Is that another one? It's only one. There ain't an ounce of respect in those perps. There's nothing sacred to OCP, but I was wrong about you. You definitely more human than any of them OCP hyenas. <sighs> that was intense. Good job, Officer Washington. Thank you, Robo. Good job, Washington. Yeah. On the assistance. All right, let's get out of here. Washington, that sounded like a proper gunfight. So how come you're still in one piece? I had a partner who had my back. Keep it up and I might just change my mind about you. I'll wrap this up, Robo. You can head back to the precinct. Look at what's up, he's becoming a young man. And right, we've got one skill point. Let's slap that somewhere. We've got armor all the way up. Maybe combat. Yeah. That's a successful punch finish with an enemy reloads or carry weapons. More powerful shockwave than that instantly kills nearby enemies. Okay. We'll go to combat. Let's get that up. Right, let's head to go meet Dr. Blatch. With all those colorful flags and balloons, any other cat would be in seventh heaven. You're way too early. The bachelorette party starts at 8. I am here <laughs> to meet with Olivia Blanche. What room is she in? This is a by-the-hour hotel. People don't usually give names. Dr. Blanche is in her 50s, bright long hair, possibly tied into a ponytail. I gotcha. It's that classy lady. She's staying in room 405. 
Thank you, citizen. <laughs> so, you aren't the real Robocop? Listen, if your mature lady won't be able to satisfy you, I'm sure I'll find someone younger that would be happy to help. Oh, you said it. Can I give you them digits? You know, we can, we can get a cracker. On a Robocop, I ain't seen any action in a while. For oh, 40 in a minute, he hasn't seen that for a while anyway, so. It's you. Thank you for coming over. Do you really think I'm in danger? Not as long as I am here. Tell me what happened again. Someone stole my work computer from the precinct. But the only thing of value are my research notes. Your evaluation especially. Does anyone else know about your research? OCP requested confidentiality, so they're the only ones who know about it. You don't think the old man has anything to do with it, do you? Did you notice anyone suspicious at the crime scene? No. But after a recent hacking attempt, Engineer Morgan fitted my work computer with a tracking device. You could download its last coordinates from my private computer. It's right there on the desk. Maybe this will help you find the culprit. I will find them, and they will pay. Actually, even if those thieves were after my research, they'd be disappointed. I keep most of my notes on paper, including my conclusion. I know the whole process wasn't easy for either of us, but I'm sure you felt there was progress. How do you feel about doing the final session now? Mm, well, fuck it. Let's just do it. I promised to adhere to our working relationship. Thank you. I really appreciate it. She loves her job, doesn't it? You agreed to a oh, non-compulsory evaluation. Does that mean you felt our sessions are helpful? Yes, I do. Yes. A lot has changed since we started. Do you remember how you perceived yourself back then? Just blow my head up. As an OCP machine. That's not quite right. But since then, did you have a change of heart? How do you consider yourself now? Was it wrong? Did I, was it part man, part machine? I don't know anymore. I'm a machine. I like to think of myself as a person. It's great to hear you still stand by it. Through our time together, I've learned a lot about you. And one thing I know for sure is that you're not some kind of soulless OCP robot. Why do you think so? Could a machine create a real bond of friendship such as you and Officer Lewis have? Do you think a machine could teach a newly appointed officer what it means to be a real policeman? Or bring comfort to a suffering old man? Would an actual person glitch? We should make a clear distinction. These so-called glitches are your memories. It seems to me that they manifest themselves in unusual ways because they are trying to get through a mechanical barrier. But as memories and the past make up everyone's personality, those memories make you who you are as well. This is what makes you different from a machine. You should not fear them, but embrace them. But there is also the other kind. And that worries me. But the malfunctions you're referring to seem to be strictly technological. I'm afraid someone is using your mechanical side to mess with your psyche. They would be more successful if it wasn't for your human side. And no wonder. It's probably your strong will that allowed you to bear the extraordinary burdens. And it's also what's been protecting you from totally malfunctioning. I don't know a single person who could endure that. So if this evaluation was to determine whether you're human or not, my answer is you're not just a human, but an exceptional one. Alex Murphy, don't you ever forget that, unless you want to have me on your case again. I will try. Thank you, Doctor. <laughs> so Use my computer to download the coordinates of the tracking device. It's right there on the desk. I have the coordinates. Hello, Dr. Blanche. I got a special delivery for you. Uh -oh, but I good. haven't ordered anything. I only need your signature. Can you please open the door? Oh! Oh, 
sign with this. Caution! She's not the enemy. Robocop is guarding the target. Only orders. Oh. Yes, they are. We need to move. Lewis, there was an attempt on Dr. Blanche's life. Is she okay? Yes, but she will need an escort. I think these guitars have got Imagine one hit. I'm on my way. I hope she's right behind me. Let me check. You right behind me? No, she's not. Ah, oh, fuck, I got an escort. Where you at? Are we going to go this way? I think the car just knocks her out, it's so funny. Oh, she's there, okay. Let's pick up the shirt. Whoopsie! Is he dead? Yes, on the shirt, okay, nice. We need to move. Is this really about the research? I will figure that out. Keep it moving, keep it moving. Are you being serious? Where is she at? Okay, can we go? Follow me. Can we rest for a moment? No, we should not stop. It's a dead end. We need to look for another way. I will make a way. I don't know how you're thinking. We got to make a way. But you better hurry. You this room is getting awfully hot. Flip the link. Olivia. Make a way. Follow me. Robocop. I've seen messes here before, but 
Not quite like this. Yeah, this place, We've made it. Place got torn oh, up, thank man. God. But what should we do now? Uh, My partner is going to take you to someplace safe. I will find you if party oh, using your computer's coordinates. I think leave the hotel is probably the best option, right? I'm finally starting to understand. The shooting, the blood, seeing it <coughs> firsthand, it puts everything into perspective. What I think I'm trying to say is thank you. My duty, madam. So what now, Murphy? I will follow the signal to track the doctor's computer. You will keep her safe. Safe from what exactly? Who were those guys? Mercenaries on Wendell's payroll. The same ones that paid me a visit at the hospital? Wendell should be grateful. You keep reducing his overhead. I am expecting a huge payoff. I hear that. Well, it's a good thing we got to Olivia when we did, right? Otherwise, she would have been toast. Signal tracker. To track a target, exact location, use a signal strength indicator in the upper left corner of your HUD. The percentage value increase increases if you move in the right direction. Okay, let's see what this is about. Okay, let's see if we can get the strength, the signal, a bit stronger. Seems like it's getting stronger if we go this way. No, it's increasing this way. It's getting stronger over here. Okay, we're going in the, red di the right direction. We are heading in the right direction. So we'll keep following this trail. Okay, Murphy. So where are you headed now? I am following the signal from the doctor's computer. Is it in the cinema? I'm Sandy. You're gonna keep me no, posted if you find anything, okay. won't you? Through here. Affirmative. Murphy, out. There's a little bad arguments yeah. against voting are baseless. Out. As residents of this city, you have an obligation. Get lost, kiddo. I don't want them to unsuspend my sentence. Okay, no. Through here. Could be in this van, maybe. No, let's go down. Oh, on the top. Oh, up there maybe. Okay. Can we climb it? Is it going down? It is going down, isn't it? Nice guy's dead. Where the fuck do you want to go then? Let's see. So clearly not here. Need some rubble? No, but it might be covering something that I am looking for. Oh, we walk straight past it, it will be like searching for a needle in a haystack unless you have some kind of X-ray vision. So we need to put the rubble inside. Enjoy. I need to see Inside what's there. underneath. And then you'll have to wait. There'll be a truck to move it in an hour or two. It's not like you can move the whole thing anyway. You're not a finicken train, are you? I am much more than that. He's Robocop. He can do it. Like a freaking bulldozer. <laughs> Is that what you were looking for? A manhole cover? I need to get underground. Well, not through there, you ain't. If the sewers are what you're after, then you should use the entrance behind the mark. Just under the overpass. All right, let's... Thank you, citizen. Let's head there to the overpass. Lewis, tracker coordinates lead me to the sewers. I am entering now. I can't hear you very well. It must be bad signal. I've taken Dr. Blanche to the safe house. Lewis, you are breaking up. Watch your step. This might get dangerous. Make sure to contact me if you back up. Stay safe. I don't think we'll be contacting you, Lewis. You need to rest up in hell. You just came out. Came out of the hospital fresh on. So 
сюда. Вот ты оттуда есть. Как тебе будет сегодня съесть? Same thing, right? Yep. Bruce and Regan Seuss. Well, I heard something there, but let's see what this is. Open the floodgate. I heard someone talking down there, though. Let's see what's down there quickly. That is so OP. It's amazing. Assault rifle. What kind of assault rifle is this one? Let's see. Nah, I don't like that assault rifle actually. It's pretty shit. We can show this. Nah. Shotgun, you know, is pretty good. Stick with that. We still have power. Power is back where? Oh, for the floodgate, okay. Let's see what's in there. We could have to fight, we might have to fight them twice maybe. We might have to fight them twice, so if we head back and we open the floodgates, I'm sure it wouldn't have allowed us because we didn't have power. But since we used our initiative and went there before, they gave us that option, now we can open the floodgates. Blow this up. Oh, okay, investigate, investigate, not shoot it. <laughs> investigate, Mike, not shoot it. Get hold of him. Lewis, can you read me? Loud and clear. Are you out of the sewers already? No, I found a signal booster. A signal booster underground? The entire OCP communication network runs down here. It looks like the mercenaries were tampering with it. I wonder what they were up to. Whatever they were planning, I am going to stop them. All right, let's go. The real problem is about to be insane. Oh my gosh, how many bullets? It's not good for him. Yeah, this guy ain't there. I'm not gonna lie to you. You got him back for this one. The pistol is, is just the best. You can't you can't beat it. You really cannot beat it. Two skill points. You know we gotta equip him straight away. As soon as we get him, we gotta put him in. Let's go with combat. So now we are 30% weapon damage, which is always beautiful. Uh, oh, we got one with 32 up in there. That's got to get slapped somewhere, mate. That's got to get slapped somewhere. Where are we going to put that? It's down and up in it. Maybe magazine capacity. Take that 20 out. Slap that one in there. Beautiful, mate. Beautiful. 27. We've got a 27. That's looking good. 
Yeah, can we set that? 25. We know nah, we can't really suck it anywhere, can we? We can pull it here. Reload speed. Reload speed's at 72. Let's put the reload. Let's put this one in. 74. Could always be better. And I think we are good to go. I think we are. I could have put that up there and that's the same thing, isn't it? What's that one? 21. Okay. 26. Let's put that there now. 79%, fucking hell. I want to see how quick he can reload actually. Up and down, have we got, oh, we're just up and down, up and down to the left. Up and down, nope, all right, fuck it, let's go. That's pretty quick, let's see. Yeah, that's pretty quick. Reload is pretty quick there. OCP turret. Oh, okay. I thought it was going to be a bit more of a struggle than that, but I guess not. Please, don't kill me! Do not be afraid. I am a police officer. He's about to set me, I don't know. Dream that I was a homeless guy living in the sewers. <laughs> oh, wait. It's gonna say it's Is there an easier way to um, destroy those turrets? I'm not even sure. Maybe if you shoot the computer. I don't know. I guess the computer just tracks it to where. Oh, that's a mine there. They're setting up mines, you know. I don't know if you remember my last playthrough, or well, my other playthrough anyway, we had a mission where we had to, we had to go through the mines. Oh shit. And that tore me up. Those mines actually absolutely ripped me. Oh, I'm hit. Trying to be sneaky. And they were in water as well. They were underwater, so it was, it was tough to, to see them. Was he sleeping too? That little bastard. Okay. Lewis, I found the computer. 
What did they need it for? Retrieving and processing data from our evaluations. Where was the data going? OCP's mainframe computer. To access it, you need staff credentials, and they have been using Wendell's. You're saying that OCP has Wendell on their payroll? The old man is the one who signed his contract. That son of a bitch! I knew he was behind all this. Can you send us over that data? I am uploading it as we speak. I'll make sure Reed sees it ASAP, so we can get you a warrant for the OCP headquarters. I am heading to OCP headquarters now. <laughs> Okay, and these are sewers. Nice little camera down there in the sewers. A lot more busy than I expected it to be. <laughs> okay, so we have to drive to the OCP headquarters. Corruption, look at all this corruption. This is what corruption looks like. It looks pretty good though. Hey, Murphy, we've been analyzing the files that you sent us. And it turns out that the data from your evaluations have been used to prepare an afterlife presentation. And get this, it's taking place right now. To put a cherry on top, the old man is in attendance. Just find where the afterlife presentation is taking place, and you'll catch the old man red-handed. That is how I prefer I didn't know to today's bring your kid to work I think day. I know how to... Just let me go. You said yourself that you didn't have time for me. I know who you are, lady. You broke into the security room. Welcome to Omni Consumer Products. Hey, how may Robo, I help you? Could you resolve this issue we're having? Let's see if we can sort this out. There's been a security breach I need to investigate, but someone's got to escort this trespasser out of the building. Sounds like a reason. I could help in both cases. Good. The breach seems like a big job. Once you're done with her, can you join me in the server room? It's just down the hall. Sure he could. Don't think it's over, lady. I'll check the security cameras later to see what you've been up to. Expect a visit from the police in a couple of days. I'll buy coffee and donuts to welcome them. Hmm. <laughs> You are responsible for that security breach. I'm trying to save people's homes. Do I have to remind you what OCP is planning to do with the residents of old Detroit to create space for Delta City? Yes, a reminder will not hurt. No, I have a record of that issue. I have a record of that issue. I need to find out what the estimates are for those additional costs. As you can imagine, they don't include them in their brochures. So I have to dig deeper. All the information I need to help those people is in the room where the security guard is expecting you. So can you help me get those records out? Uh, yes, OCP cannot hustle innocent people. No, it needs to breaches against the law. Fuck it. I will not let OCP hustle innocent people. Yes, we will not. You'll find the relevant data on one of the servers. I'll be waiting here to pick it up. Yeah, it's just a bad influence, a Robocop. A meeting regarding afterlife is taking place right now. I want to know where. Let me check. Yes, that would be the executive conference room on the top floor. The elevators are behind me. But I'm looking at the guest list and I'm not seeing your name. I will be the highlight. Huh. Not so. All right, so. Let's see if we can but do. You don't have the proper clearance. You won't be able to access the elevators, sir. sir. Fuck your parents. Let's go and investigate for Samantha. Over here. Could you help me with these doors? What is this? Okay, nothing in there. Alright, let's do it. Or we just kick it. Or it required. Someone likely tried to lay a hand on the data collected in this room. The security breach caused them to lock down. Can you open them? 
I need permission to enter the restricted area and damage OCP property. Do whatever it takes. Oh, there we go. Now, I need to reboot the security system. The malfunction shut down not only the doors, but also a nearby metal detector gate. That should do it. Thanks for your help, Robocop. I'll stay here. I need to be sure the room is safe before the technicians arrive. My new dumbass boss will chew my ear off about it if I don't. Well, let's go and get some extra info for Samantha. New door code policy. Yeah, the new door code policy is not to kick it off. Is he thinking? What is he doing in there? Better not touch that computer. If the technicians figure out that someone was messing with it, they'll be pissed. All right, we really did what we need to do. Thank you. Investigate. It's investigation. Or is it right here or something? Twenty-nine and six. So it's on the outside maybe. So over here. Oh, it's okay. So, you're still here? Engineering server and computer network may have been affected. Have I got that? I have, bro. Right? Security computers connect to a network. It is worth checking if there is another system that needs rebooting. Yeah, it's all brand new. Hasn't been tested before implementation. My boss's idea. I should go and check it out. I'll be on my way. Thank you, sir. And we are going to head back. I didn't know I have in seven engineering, man. Let's see, it's good. Came in rather clutch. Himself, and it's not his investigation. So we're gonna head back to Samantha and give her the dirt, the tea we just found. Estimates. Do you have them? Make good use of them. You helped a lot of people with this, Murphy. But there is one more issue. Security footage. If I'm gonna expose OCP, I'd rather not be disturbed by anyone. Could you... Destroying evidence of a crime is beyond my programming. Who's talking about that? Shuffling database records will do just fine. All you need to do is recharge yourself using the computer in the security room. You could sure use a pick-me-up. You look pale, to be honest. I will not do it. Ah, oh, fuck it. I will do what needs to be We've done to protect the innocent. We've committed so far. Thanks to you, I'll be able to focus on what needs to be done as well. Stay safe, citizen. I hope she's not an asshole, you know. She could be just like... She could be just doing some bullshit, really. And we could just be getting fucked. That's a call. Access denied. No, oh, okay. Where the fuck is it? You want to find a code somewhere or something? Wait, let me see something quick. Generate two, four, six, five, two, four, six. Yeah, we got seven. Punch it? No, I can't. Oh, okay. Two seven eight one. I need to scan it. Oh, 
almost gave up as well. I thought, where am I gonna find that code? This is not that like Robocop though, is it? The glass was so clean, I didn't know which one was it, which, if the door was open or if it was a fucking glass. <coughs> I did some shuffling. Thank you. The people of old Detroit will not forget what you've done for them. Anything for the people, man. I really hope it's for the people, though. That's how it Let me get that door for you. I saw that whole scene. The way they treated you. Yeah, I see? Not on my watch. Going up? We. Oui. We are. Beautiful, isn't it? This view gives me hope. Shows what Detroit is capable of when not hindered by the city's worst. You probably know that better than anyone else. You deal with filth more than any of us. These miserable people, crammed into those tiny apartments like cockroaches. I swear I need a shower whenever I go canvassing in old Detroit. But not for much longer. I'm heading to a meeting about the Delta City relocations. So that we finally get the poor, criminal elements out of our great city. Exciting, isn't it? No. We need together. We'll clean the city right up. It's not, it's not exciting. I actually feel better for doing what I did now, actually. This is a friendly reminder. A gunshot wound no longer entitles you to a day off. Unless <laughs> hospitalization is required. Thank you. That's wild. There is no one here. What? Wow, this is the same border. Look around. See if we're missing something. Same border from the movie. Do not be amazed when a man grows rich, for when he dies, he takes nothing with him. Until now, afterlife, OCP's answer to death itself. As a front runner in human machine hybrids, OCP is focused on proving that death is no longer the end. With a number of successful prototypes, our team continues to work tirelessly to ensure afterlife is more stable than any of our previous cybernetic achievements. We've come a long way since OCP's first cyborg. Do not say I did not warn you. To now. Hi, I'm Eve, and I've died, but that's not stopping me. With the newest development in cyborg research, OCP was able to give me another chance. And now I'm back to enjoying my life. Or should I say, afterlife. Because at OCP, the goal is no longer to live, but to thrive after death. And since our friends in the government are fighting for human rights for all people that were once pronounced dead, my life will return to what it was in no time. That's crazy. Under my legislation, Robocop and all future cyborgs will be granted human rights. They'll be able to live, vote, and run their businesses just like the rest of us. Vote Mills, vote Robocop. Afterlife, eternity, today. That's not good. Oh, sorry, I didn't know someone was here. So Eve, the robots. Who wanna live for eternity though? It's actually Meg. Are you like me? So you seen the ad, huh? Sorry, I'm not a robot. Just a commercial actress. Oh wow. I've been a face for a lot of stinkers, but good luck selling afterlife. <laughs> Technology that won't be available to us for the next hundred years or so, I've heard. Where is everyone? From what I understand, the old man cancelled the meeting last minute. I don't know why no one tells me anything around here. So he is behind all of it? Who else would authorize funding of such a pretentious project? Are you selling a defective product? What about the money? Okay, I guess we can ask all of, all of the questions. So you are selling something that does not work? That's advertising for you. 
At least with Afterlife, we won't get many complaints from the dissatisfied customers. Because <laughs> they'd be dead, you know? Well, what about all the money that went into research? From what I hear, OCP gave it the college try. They spent a lot of money on some prototypes, but this time they ended up with nothing. That's how it often goes with these cutting-edge projects. I imagine there were quite a lot of unsuccessful Robocops before you came along. Where did they conduct the research for this project? I don't know, but I don't think it's in this building. I've noticed that there are always big cooling trucks parked in front of OCP when they're showing off new tech. Where is the old man? Probably in his office, at the end of the hall. But I don't think barging in unannounced is such a good idea. I disagree. What a fraud. Absolute fraud. Oh, can someone take this robot away from here? I'm trying to work. Shut it, man. Shut it. The privilege, man. So snobbish. Why was he smiling when I signed it? He never. Do you think that you have to stop coming down? to the office? You no longer work here. You were fired last. There he is. Put your hands up, you are under arrest. So the old man. That's no way to talk to an acting CEO. You didn't come here to congratulate me? So, you haven't heard. It's been on every channel for the past hour. Watch some TV <coughs> for a while. Life's passing you by. Oh, As the former CEO of Omni Consumer Products passed away earlier this morning, Damn. we at Channel 9 are deeply saddened by this horrific tragedy. Our condolences go out to the OCP family in these dark times. In other news, why do balloons make that popping sound? <sighs> About time the old man kicked the bucket. A Japanese company is already eyeing to buy us out. The way he was managing the company lately, he'd basically run it to the ground, especially with his personal projects. Afterlife. Ah, oh, you heard about that too. How desperate. Just die gracefully, you old fuck. But don't you worry about it. As an acting CEO, I'm putting a stop to all of OCP's unnecessary expenses. And that includes all of the old man's pet projects. So say bye-bye to Afterlife, and Delta City for that matter. Someone needs to take responsibility. When are we still out there? Someone needs to take responsibility. Someone did. The demented old man behind all of this sick shit is dead. I'm shutting down Afterlife, so you should be happy. So there's nothing for you to worry about anymore. Well, maybe about collecting unemployment, since I'm firing the entire police force and replacing them all with my robots. Those robots are unreliable. Oh, that's adorable. Especially coming from you. But you'll get to see the improvements we've made firsthand. Since I need you to come to the arms expo. Just don't be late. Now, you leave. Bitches, come! Oh, damn. <laughs> it's time to celebrate. Man said bitches Let's come. Let's throw the old man a hell of a wake. Oh, Robo. Wait, where did he go? That expo thing is a black tie event. Then again, I guess that doesn't concern you. He said bitches come. Okay, they have fire. You could arrest me, officer. I even have my own handcuffs. Hey, hey, sir. Get it, get it. Hey, 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 hey. Hey! Hey, okay, okay, okay. Have fun, man, have fun. This is not really collecting air, okay? Right, right, let's get out of here, man. The party wasn't because really my style anyway. Because of the tragedy anyway. that has struck our company, you will be informed by your superiors about the recommended ways to experience mourning. The meeting is not included as work time. Thank you. 
The old man is dead. Yeah, I just heard. So what do we do about afterlife? Becker is shutting it down. Not the only thing he's shutting down. I just got a call from the precinct. Everyone's been fired. So what now? What about Wendell? That's crazy. We wait for his move. He'll be desperate. I bet he'll try to get as many supplies as he can before his money runs out. But where will he go to do that? The Detroit Arms Expo. Shit, that's right around the corner. I could go there. No. Stay with Dr. Blanche. Becker wants me to attend the expo. This way, I can keep an eye on unwanted guests. I hear you. Wendell, so he was a piece of shit anyway, right? In the movie though, he was actually good. So I don't know why they made him a piece of shit in this one, but in the game. I can't believe he's gone. He was so young. <laughs> Such a he was so young. Wow. Okay, let's get out of here. This place is cracking me up. Leave the area. The man himself completed. Right, guys. Arms race. We have to do objectives. All right, guys. Anyway, that's going to be it for this run, for this playthrough. Um, thank you for joining in, um, and I will see you on the next one. I think we are coming up to the end. I said that like two videos ago, but uh, I, I think we are getting close to, towards the end anyway. Um, so I will catch you on the next one. Thank you for joining in. Peace out and one love.